Hey guys! Welcome back to my art channel and for today's video, I rendered the Salamia Mosque using alcohol markers, watercolor, and soft pastel. So this is the final output and as you can see there are soft pastel particles and that's because I sprayed it with fixative spray without dusting it off so yeah. So I used the touch 10 markers, touch 5 markers, there we have the soft pastel from Mungyo and the Koi watercolor set. So this is the final output I made so if you're curious on my process then just keep on watching. So for this artwork, I will be using a 12 by 18 watercolor paper from Kansan and as you can see, I'm gonna be using my previous artwork for the reference to the borders. So I'm gonna use a 0.5 inch border because 1 cm is too small for me and 1 inch is too big. So I will also be using masking tape and reducing the stickiness for the borders or corners and we'll be using a painter's tape for the sides. So it will be sure that it won't rip off the paper when it comes to when I'm done. Yeah, so I will now be using the grid method and gridding my paper. I think it's okay to use the grid method if you really want to draw the details correctly and accurately because freehanding is hard, especially when it comes to the details and architecture. So now I'm putting numbers along the sides of the tape. So I will have a guide as to where I am and I won't be lost when I'm drawing the grids. So this is the complete grids and the numbers. So what I will be drawing in this square, I will copy from this square and this square and this square and this square to these squares. So let's get on to drawing. drawing the structure and its details, I will now be erasing all the grids. And this is the final product of the drawing with no rendering yet. So now I'll be using my Koi watercolors. This set really lasts long. I got it when I was grade 10 and now I'm in second year college. So. I will be using colors like yellow, black, gray, ochre, white, and brown for this artwork. The first thing I always do when I'm rendering with watercolor is I decide on a base tone and this time I, my base tone is yellow and it's just a light wash just so I can layer the colors to have a more strong or bold effect to it. So. As you can see now, I'm adding the base colors, which is blue and yellow. And now I'm just doing a um, light wash of the background of how I want it to be. But I realized it will take so much time and it will waste my black pigment. So that's why I opted to use the soft pastels for the background, which you will see later. So these are the markers that I will be using. They're the alcohol markers from touch 10 and touch 5 and I will be using these for the details like the openings, windows and other details that will enhance the artwork itself. So I used mostly warm grays and tones like cool gray, blue gray and other yellow tones to match the mood of the artwork that I've chosen. I actually just copied this artwork from a reference photo I found in Google so I'll be flashing it right now right there 
And yeah, I'll also be linking it down my description box below, so check it out. And I will also be linking my previous rendering video, the one I made the Grand Palace of Thailand, which I also rendered and filmed and I posted it a month ago, so be sure to check it out as well. Now that I'm finished with the structure and its details, I will now be drawing some entourage like trees and dead trees to match the mood of the vibe of the drawing. It actually gives me a little horror vibe feel so yeah I think that's what the reference picture was going for so I'll just be copying that. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe and hit that notification bell to be notified when I post upcoming vlogs, rendering videos, shoppy hauls, and yeah. Now I'll be rendering the background using the soft pastels from Munio. I bought this because it was a requirement in my college and I didn't actually use it. So now i'll be using it for the background so i started with the yellow and some pastel tones in the lower part and i'll be doing a more solid and dark color on top so i'll be typing text onto it on my laptop when i edit If you noticed, I also tried not to use Unipin fine liners for the outline just to have a more realistic feel to it. And this is the final output without the fixative setting spray. So, yeah. I'm just a beginner when it comes to using soft pastels for rendering so I don't really know how to dust it off so I just did this. And now I'll be using the fixative setting spray from Quellox that I got from Shopee. You can check my Shopee haul down below. I'll also link it in the description. And now I'm just spraying the parts where I use soft pastels and from the video I watched in YouTube they said that you should be coating it three times. So that's what I am doing right now and this is my second and this is my third. Just to make sure that the soft pastel won't transfer to the palm of your hand or get smudged in the future. So yeah, I am done. So as you can see, it doesn't transfer anymore and it gave a glossy shiny effect to the artwork and now I'm just peeling off the painter's tape gently so that it won't rip. I actually also bought this from Shopee together with the Quellox fixative spray so I'll be linking it in the description box below. So don't forget to watch it and consider liking that like button and hitting that subscribe and notification bell. Yeah. So this is the final product together with the fixative setting spray. I intentionally made the top part a little darker because I plan to put white text into it when I edit the picture. So now I'll be adding another feature at the side of the artwork because there was more space. So I will be drawing a close up of the interiors of the Salamie Mosque. So yeah. This is a time lapse of me doing that.
feature I chose which is the courtyard of the Salamia Mosque and yeah this will be a reveal in 3, 2, 1 Trin! I actually took this photo in cam scanner that's why the colors pop out and I also blurred out the background so the text and features can be seen clearly so thanks for watching don't forget to like comment and subscribe and see you on the next one